quite like the other trees though. This is the sort of end of the day sunset tree. It's more sort of a, it's like a, really not very trying at all. And it's just very pretty with the sky behind us turning a gorgeous pink color with just flashes of, what would we describe that as? I suppose a slightly orange honey, just touching the tips of those cumulus clouds as they float gently off towards the east. Well, in here, or just below, a vast tree, and most of it is made up of this stuff, which is called Gruvia flavescence. And Gruvia flavescence is also known as the sandpaper raisin, and it's got a very nice fruit. And I'm surprised, I mean, I don't think, I actually don't think they're edible now, I think they're ripe. No, they're not ripe at all. Uh, though, but they seem to be one of these things at the end. So a little bit like, um, uh, I guess, don't many of the European berries ripen at the very end of summer going into the winter? Uh, because, of course, we are actually pretty much in winter at the moment. And so this is one of the And I remember we were asked a question about do we get winter berries here. Well, here is a winter berry growing on Gruvia flavescent. There's a flower down there, Ferg. There's a little yellow flower peeping up over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to fall out of the tree, especially not this one. There it is. Can you see the flower? That's the little flower, which of course this. Now, we're going to go away for a short break. Byron is of course, and hopefully he will stay with them. I am hoping that as the darkness fades, or comes up actually, we'll start to hear the alarm calls of various antelope and other species as Hosanna the leopard comes one. So don't go anywhere with any luck. When you come back, we'll have a nocturnal. And that's the end of my advert break. Thank you for bearing with me there. Let us go across to Byron, who is still with his elephants.